I'm Nikki Brigger and I'm the editor of Murray Claire and I'd like to welcome you all to our Murray Claire Small Business Brilliance event. I think there's never been a better time than today to invest in our learning and building each other up and helping with that community. And you are all going to be inspired by these four incredible women who are going to get up here and share their stories. So that's what today is really about, creating that community. I really love the use of emotion and putting that mm. into the mm. purpose of what drives a business. The emotion needs to be in business to drive it forward. Mm. If we want to do it and if we believe in it, yeah. then just go for it. Sometimes our biggest enemies are ourselves and the pressure we put on ourselves. Yes. Yeah. And I have got comfortable with the fact that like business and growing business is like my life. You just do the best you can yeah. and it's a marathon. Like it's a sprint in some ways, but it's also, it's a, it's a long game. One of the greatest privileges of running a business is the chance to choose who you work with mm -hmm. and who you spend mm -hmm. your time with. You want to surround yourself with this, uh, people that have the same hunger, totally. you yeah. know, and people that have the same passion for it, whether yep. it's their business or not. Yep. It's, it's not. It's not anyone else's decision but yours, really. Salesforce is such a supporter of women when it comes to small business owning and actually women in business full stop. You have to pick something that you're really passionate about, that you really care about because in those hard, really hard moments, um, you need to push through. I have to keep reminding myself that I'm not good at this yet. I'm not great at this yet. I enjoy my work, I enjoy my family. I like to make sure I get, you know, enough of each in every day, ideally, and some days it's, you know, the balance is more off than, <laughs> than others. Cash flow is really, really, really important. And um, I think if, you're, if you've got a small business that's growing rapidly, it becomes even more challenging. If you have a niggling feeling that you're taking a risk that you're uncomfortable with and really listen to, to that person inside. I don't consider you know, mistakes to be a bad thing necessarily per mm. se. You know, it's all a learning mm. opportunity. If you want to be innovative, then you're going to have to try a whole bunch of stuff and some of it will work and a lot of it won't. And, you know, that's, that's to okay. be expected and that's okay. You've actually just got to enjoy the journey yeah. and go, okay, some bits of it are going to be really hard and have to be really hard if you want to have any kind of competitive advantage, regardless of where you end up, it's, you've got to enjoy the, the ride, yeah. 